Hi everyone. In this video, I am going to start the new subject microwave engineering. It is one of the important subjects for electronics and communication engineer because it is related to radar and satellite communication. Long distance communication, cellular and mobile communication is different and long distance your satellite communication, radar communication is different. So for this satellite and radar communication, definitely one should have a knowledge over this microwave engineering. And there are several uh, different types of frequency bands allotted for the microwave range. I will tell you what are the different ranges and uh, I will, what is the range of microwave frequency. <coughs> so before going into the frequency ranges, uh, let me explain the importance of these microwaves and what do you mean by the microwave. Microwave. Micro refers to tininess. Micro refers to tininess, nothing but small, very small. Small related to wavelength, not frequency. Small related to wavelength. So, microwaves, nothing but very small wavelength signals. You can call them as a millimeter wave or a centimeter wave because they are having the wavelength ranges of 1 meter to 1 millimeter. So the wavelength of this microwave varies from 1 meter to down 1 millimeter. Okay. Generally, if we are saying the frequency of the microwaves, the frequency of microwave ranges from frequency of microwave varies from 300 megahertz to 300 gigahertz. So this is the frequency range. So whenever you, if you are asked to tell me the range of it, tell the range of any microwave signal, all the gigahertz frequency is coming under this microwave. All the gigahertz, you can say 1 gigahertz to 1000 gigahertz also as a microwave frequency range. Okay, more precisely from the electronic uh, electromagnetic spectrum, if, if in terms of electromagnetic spectrum, if you are asked to say about the microwave frequency range, then you, you should say 300 megahertz to 300 gigahertz. But in terms of normally, in terms of uh, uh, microwave frequencies, you can say 1 gigahertz to 1000 gigahertz. All the frequencies in the gigahertz range coming under the microwave ranges. Okay, I'll just give me, let me give you the relation between this 300 megahertz, how it is 300 megahertz coming under 1 meter to 1 millimeter. So, frequency varies from 300 megahertz to 300 gigahertz. And what about the wavelength? So, this leads to the change in the wavelength lambda varies from 1 meter to 1 millimeter. Okay, let me explain how this 300 megahertz has been written as 1 meter in wavelength and 300 gigahertz in frequency has been written as 1 millimeter in wavelength. So, we know the relation. We know C, uh, what is that? F is equal to C by lambda. F is equal to C by lambda. The frequency and wavelength both are inversely proportional to each other. So, lambda is equal to C by F. For 300 megahertz, if you substitute in this, for 300 megahertz, lambda is equal to, what is the value of C? C is nothing but speed of the light or speed of electromagnetic signal, speed of light or we can also say it is a speed of electromagnetic signal. Here we are not transmitting the light. What we are transmitting? We are transmitting the radiation, nothing but electromagnetic signal. So the type of electromagnetic and the electromagnetic signal is having the frequencies, microwave frequencies in terms of gigahertz it is working. That's why electromagnetic signal speed we need to consider. So, 3 into 10 power 8 meters per second. The units are very, very important because sometimes it is written as meters per second and sometimes it can be written as centimeters per, per second, 10 power 10 centimeters per second. So, it is very important to consider the units also. 
coming to the frequency now for the first frequency it is 300 mega hertz 300 into 10 power 6 hedge hedge is nothing but 1 by second we can write hedge as 1 by second so second second cancel we will be having matter set out and 300 into 10 power 6 so 3 into 10 power 8 we can write both are same so we can simply call it as 1 meter <coughs> this is for 300 mega hertz similarly if you take 300 giga hertz 300 giga hertz same so lambda is equal to 3 into 10 power 8 meters per second <coughs> divided by 300 into 10 power giga means 9 1 by second okay so that is equal to in the denominator we have 10 power 11 and in the numerator we have 10 power 8 so 10 power minus 3 meters that is equal to 1 millimeter so the wavelength also varies from made 1 meter to 1 millimeter for this microwave signal so in terms of frequency if anybody ask you what is the range of micro frequency you can say 300 300 megahertz to 300 gigahertz and in terms of wavelength you can call it as 1 meter to 1 millimeter it is varying the wavelength of the microwave varies from 1 meter to 1 millimeter okay these two are very very important lambda what is the range of lambda what is the range of frequency for microwaves okay micro micro refers to tininess smallness the small thing what is the small thing here wave wavelength wavelength is very small that's why it is a small tininess microwave so it is also known as a millimeter wave centimeter wave emitter wave depending upon the frequency what we are using okay microwaves have large applications in the next video i will explain the advantages applications also uh, they are, because they are having lot of applications everywhere we are using microwaves okay in our uh, home daily home also we are using microwave ovens because they are having that much radiation radiation gives heat okay and uh, coming to the frequency spectrum of this microwave from where to where the frequency spectrum exactly located for this microwave the frequency spectrum what i told you what is the range of microwave frequency is 300 megahertz to 300 gigahertz so this is the frequency range of the microwave from here to here we can call all the frequencies are in microwave above and below are different types of frequencies see here in the entire electromagnetic spectrum actually this entire thing is electromagnetic spectrum electromagnetic spectrum see remembering this electromagnetic spectrum is very very easy generally you may think by seeing the diagram it is very difficult but it is very easy just we should know the relation like uh, uh, first ultra low frequency you should know these name, uh, names ultra low frequency extreme low frequency super low frequency very low frequency and the low frequency medium frequency high frequency very high frequency after that ultra high frequency so uh, super high frequency and extreme high frequency okay these are the different types of frequency bands we have above this extra extreme high frequency we will be having some infrared light x-rays gamma rays and cosmic rays see ultra high frequency see if everything is related in terms of 10 and in terms of 3 okay see here 0 to 30 30 to 300 multiply with 10 again 10 3000 nothing but 3 kilo again into 10 30 kilo into 10 300 kilo into 10 3000 kilo nothing but 3 mega into 10 into 10 like this we need to multiply the frequency with respect to 10 in terms of 10 up to 300 gigahertz yes, it is okay after that it will be having different pattern like a 430 terahertz 1000 terahertz 10 power 18 hertz and 10 power 20 hertz 10 power 28 hertz you need to remember these four okay so 0 to 30 hertz it is uh, uh, what is this ultra low frequency and uh, 30 to 300 hertz it is extra low frequency 300 to 3 kilo super low frequency like this 3 kilo to 3 30 kilo very low frequency 30 kilo to 300 kilos low frequency after that it is medium frequency from 300 kilo to 3 mega 3 mega to 30 mega high frequency 30 mega to 300 mega it is very high frequency now 
from this point the microwave frequency starts okay that means in the microwave frequency range what are the different uh, frequencies that are covered ultra low frequency sorry ultra high frequency super high frequency after that extra high frequency extreme high frequency so these are the three different frequency bands that are coming under this three uh, microwave frequency range okay after this infrared light rays x rays gamma rays and cosmic rays with high very high frequencies okay now coming to the letter band designations okay see here what are the different ranges we have what are the different ranges we have ultra high frequency super high frequency extreme high frequency from 300 megahertz to 300 gigahertz we have lot of frequency ranges in this high frequency which frequency we need to call it as a band that means suppose if any satellite is launched or if any radar is going to be operated how to select the particular frequency band for that can we allocate the entire frequency band no because uh, what is that uh, cross communication may occur different types of problems will be there so definitely each and every satellite before launching it's a, it is having a specific range of frequencies that it is allocated to use above or below that it is not permitted to use okay suppose uh, one satellite i am going to uh, launch from india so that satellite should have that satellite should have a range like 3 gigahertz to 4 gigahertz this is the range that is allotted to this particular satellite it is not permitted to use above 4 gigahertz and below 3 gigahertz okay so all the frequencies within this 3 to 4 only it is to use like that before going to launch any particular device uh, similarly radar system also radar is also having specific range of frequencies okay above and below should not use because like that we have several number of satellites and several number of radar systems if another satellite uses the same frequency there will be a miscommunication between the satellites inter satellite communication may occur so that's why so to avoid such errors we should go for only a specific band of frequencies so international telecommunication union international telecommunication union has launched i triple e I triple E standards, I triple E standards for letter bands, letter band designations, letter band designation. What they are doing? They are keeping one letter like A, B, C, D, something like that. Here if the letter band designations are starting from L. So L is given with what is the range of frequency i told you all the gigahertz frequencies are coming under this microwave so we can say 1 giga to 1000 giga 1 giga to 1000 giga so l is a band that gives a frequency from 1 gigahertz to 2 gigahertz and similarly s yes, is a band that is from 2 gigahertz to 3 gigahertz okay that means if any satellite or radar system or any communication device that is being launched with a frequency range of l that is limited with a frequency of this 1 gigahertz from 1 giga to 2 gigahertz and s band is also limited to 1 gigahertz that is from 2 to 3 gigahertz the above and below are not permitted to use for this particular device whatever is which is going to be launched okay so similarly let us see what are the different letter band designations we have l band is from 1 to 2 gigahertz the corresponding wavelengths are also given using the formula what is the formula lambda is equal to c by f and s band is ranging from 2 to 4 c band from 4 to 8 and x band is for 8 to 12 in your laboratory suppose if you are uh, using a microwave engineering lab in that laboratory all the communications are happening with this x band okay once if you, you go under uh, calculate the reflex cluster characteristics then there you will get this 8 to 12 gigahertz frequency band like around 9.5 around 9.5 gigahertz for reflex cluster on reflex cluster on characteristics okay and uh, KU band, KU band, K band, KA band, uh, these three are similar bands. K band, K band, under the K band, it is KA, KU band. 
above the K band, it is Ka. So under the K band, above the K band, K band. So 12 to 18, 18 to 26, 26.5 to 40. And similarly, Q band, U band, all these are higher level frequency bands, V band, W band, F band and D band. See, all the frequencies are increasing greatly, like 170 gigahertz just up to. See the micro wavelength, wavelength is coming into the millimeters 1.8 millimeters to 2.7 millimeters so in this way we can say the classification of microwave frequency bands that are used by different different communication devices with letter band designations see this letter band designations you will study in the satellite communication radar communication radar engineering you can say and microwave engineering microwave engineering in these three subjects you will go through this same table letter band designations okay because all the communications in the radar engineering my satellite communication and microwave engineering done with microwave frequencies only millimeter waves okay so this is about the introduction and frequencies of this uh, microwave engineering in the next video i will tell what are the advantages and applications of this uh, microwave engineering thank you